Every single person has faith. Some people have faith in their circumstances. Some people have faith in how bad things will be. Some people have so much faith that they are depressed because they believe bad things will happen. That's faith. Fear and faith have one thing in common. It's a belief in something that has not happened yet. And it takes as much faith to believe in fear as it is to believe in the promises of God. And when you wake up in the morning, you have a choice to either put your faith in the Word of God or to exercise your belief in something that is, might not happen. But if you're going to believe in it, it will happen. It's like the story of a woman who was always afraid that somebody is going to break into her house and steal things from her house. And so any smallest noise that would happen during the night, she would, you know, hit her husband and says, go check, somebody's in our house. And her husband was so sick and tired of it, of her phobias, that every single time during the night, I mean, not every night, but every other night, he would go in, check, say, nobody's there. Okay, okay, thank you for going there. And this continued for years upon years until on this fateful night, 40 years of being married, there is a little whisper in their living room and she says somebody's there go check the room and he goes in there for a routine check and there is a gun sticking right in his face somebody was there and he looks at him he says oh that's you he says yes i'm a thief if you make a noise i'll blow your brains off he said no just take anything you need just just leave us alone and he, he took stuff that the thief was about to leave he says wait wait can you hang in there for a little bit he said let me call my wife to meet you because she's been expecting you for the past 40 years and that's how many of us live, is we constantly expect bad things to happen. You have a pain in your stomach, it must be cancer. S something is happening, it must be this. You got an accident, God, God must have left me. You know, you, you got a ticket, that's it. I'm going to go lose this, I'm going to go lose this. If your boss corrects you, you expect you're going to get fired. You always expect the worst. And that is your faith at best working against you. God wants our faith to work for us in trusting in His promises. Can somebody say amen? And so it's so important to understand that your faith, everybody believes. But are you believing for the positive or are you constantly expecting negative?